What better way to transition into the New Testament than with Christ's genealogy at the beginning of the Gospel? From the outset, Matthew establishes the Messiah King's credentials for the Jewish reader. What mattered most to the Jews was the prophetic utterance, Thus says the Lord. Compellingly, the Holy Spirit's work and the Old Testament citations give weight to Matthew's account. He employs a combination of 130 direct citations and indirect allusions from the Old Testament throughout his gospel. Compellingly, the Holy Spirit's work and the Old Testament citations give weight to Matthew's account. He employs a combination of 130 direct citations and indirect allusions from the Old Testament throughout his gospel. The Lord Jesus is the climax of the prophecies. He is the divine king. However, a strong Gentile element is present with the inclusion of Tamar, Rahab, and Ruth, all Gentiles. Likewise, Christ is the seed of Abraham and the son of David with some Gentile ancestry. The title Son of David appears nine times in Matthew as a way to prove his messiahship to Jewish readers, but only six times in all the other Gospels. Again, Gentiles play a significant role in this Jewish Gospel as Christ is honored by the Gentile Magi delegation in contrast with being rejected by Herod and the people of Jerusalem. Christ the King endeavors to restore his nation, first by teaching, and then by healing including exorcism. Throughout Matthew's Gospel, Christ's speeches are organized into five sections, similar to the five books of Moses, signifying that he is the prophet Moses spoke about. Regardless of his colossal work and teaching, Jesus is rejected by the apostate Israel. He undergoes mockery, brutal interrogation, scourging, and crucifixion from the heretical and fanatic high priestly leadership who conspired with the Roman authorities to put him to death. The resurrection account is epic. An angel came down from heaven, caused a powerful earthquake, rolled back the tombstone where Christ's body lay, and then sat on it. This was a grand display of power against the Roman guards. He subsequently addressed Mary Magdalene and the other Mary with reassuring words. The Gospel concludes with Christ's great commission to the Gentiles rather than to the Jews. Application What comfort for us as Gentiles to know that we are related to Christ as distant relatives through Gentiles like Rahab and Ruth? He is our kinsman redeemer. He grants us full rights into his kingdom as the ones who are redeemed by his cross. He commissioned us to make disciples of all nations. What a marvelous task! In contrast to Israel's fallen kings, Christ restores the image of the holy king. In contrast to the murderous and arrogant Herodian dynasty, he is the humble ruler.